Hey guys, Han Yolo back at it with another sneaker video, man. And today I got a sneaker that I don't see um, people wearing very often. Uh, probably because there's no hype. There's like literally uh, almost little to no like following on this sneaker, and I kind of understand why. But I kind of like them as well. Honestly, this is my only pair. Um, I haven't made it like a priority to pick up other pairs of it just because um, there's so many other shoes that I uh, would rather have and you know spend money on but they are the Nike aerosol man and these are the uh, waterproof versions of it in this black uh, varsity royal blue and although that might look white on camera that's neutral gray um, and then the swoosh or the Nike uh, embroidery there is white Put one shoe down and um, I picked this up I don't even know a long 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 time ago over I would say over six years ago um, and as you can see it has a lot of uh, similarities to the Air Jordan 3s uh, I think they both came out originally around the same time so around like 87 88 uh, um, time frames I don't know which one came first I'm assuming this I'm thinking this copied the Air Jordan 3. Um, I don't know why I think that, but I'm just saying I could be wrong. One of them copied the other one, and I think originally this actually didn't have a visible air unit, and the mid, the whole entire sole was actually kind of different looking than uh, what you see here today in the retro version. Um, yeah, it's just, there's a lot of similarities. Um, the uh, entire sole right there too, midsole, and ooh, what's that? Okay, there's a. I just wore these too. I so if you guys don't, if you guys are new or you don't remember, um, I only do sneaker videos of shoes that I recently worn. Um, just because I don't know, it's my thing. I just don't want to pull out a pair of sneakers that I've worn for two years or whatever, and you know, do a review on it or whatever. Uh, I just don't think that's. Um, the right thing to do, I guess, because I haven't worn it for two years. I completely don't remember what it feels like and all that. So I like to wear the uh, sneakers before I review them again, even though it might be something I've worn all the time before, but I stopped wearing it for a year or six months or whatever. So I just like to, you know, do videos on sneakers that I recently worn. Um, so that's why there's that um, little like Apple sticker or whatever it was and it actually needs to be clean. I don't know what I stepped in, but the sole here, pretty much the uh, Air Jordan 3 sole, right there with the Nike, um, instead of Jordan, I think the uh, the more, the latest remastered versions actually say Nike on them. Uh, you got the eyelets that look exactly like the Jordan 3s, all the way up to that um, top lace hole there. Um, yeah, man, the material on this, it's supposedly water resistant or waterproof, it says. Um, there's actually a hang tag. So this is the hang tag that came with it. Nike Air waterproof. Uh, I'm not sure how waterproof this is or how waterproof it isn't, but you know, I always hit it with the waterproofer anyways It doesn't mean that I you know step into puddles and submerge entire damn shoe in a puddle or anything like that It just means that the material um, Is very water resistant is what I think I'm thinking I don't think it's actually waterproof like if you some although the tongue here It does not go through usually you know like the tongue like you know there's like you, you can put your finger all the way through and like touch your foot or whatever. This is actually sewed off in here. So I'm not gonna unlace it to show you, but um, yeah, it's actually sewn off. So I guess this can potentially be waterproof, I suppose, if you got water up to right here. I don't think water would seep in because there's like no holes or anything for it to uh, seep into your foot with, but I wouldn't do that because. I mean, why the hell would you do that? Go get some work boots or whatever. It's something that's made for that. I don't, this, this is a sneaker that just has a waterproof feature to it, feature. Uh, the material is solid, man. I got the uh, shoe tray in there right now, but the material is super soft. And it's this very waxy um, leather. Like there's this waxy coating on it, which I, I'm assuming makes it super water repellent. Um, always hit it with a waterproofer anyways. And the swish there, it's kind of hard to see. I try to angle it right, but there's this like black shadow around the blue. It's kind of hard to see, but that's a nice touch, man. I like that. And then everything on here is stitched Nike aerosol. It kind of looks like it's in um, barrel aerosol, 
but it does say aerosol. It just stitched all weird. Um, let's see here. It has Nike on the side. I already showed you that. That is also stitched. And then you got air in the back, which is also stitched in that blue. Uh, sizing, man, sizing is, uh, I almost said these are nines. I wear a nine and a half usually, and this fits perfect. I think if the uh, if I got a nine and a half, it'd be too big. So, I mean, it, you can probably go to Foot Locker and try them out. I almost positive they have at least one pair of these, <clears throat> one pair of these sitting on the wall. But the best thing is to try them out. But if you can't, I would say go half a size down. If you're a true nine and a half, true 10, true 10 and a half, whatever size, go half a size down. I think you should be solid, man. Assuming that, you know, you're an actual true nine and a half and you don't wear thick ass socks. I just wear Nike dry fit socks. They're not thick, but they're not thin. Um, and these are nice, man. And inside here, you got the sock liner and all that. Yeah, you can see that. It's like this waffle pattern. Very comfortable, it's real nice, man. Um, it's different than all the other shoes I have. I'm not sure what it does or what the differences are. Maybe it's just for looks, but it's very comfortable and I like it. Um, let's go to the on foot, man. We'll come back and wrap up this video. That was the on foot. It's kind of hard for me to wear these sometimes because like they're actually kind of bulky on feet. And I wear sweatpants in that on foot, like some fairly, it's not hella baggy, but it's fairly baggy. It's not no tech fleece, not tapered or anything like that. Cause I feel like that'll look really weird with the shoes, with shoes that are this bulky. Um, it's easy to wear basketball shorts with these. Um, cargo shorts because you know those things are assuming you're not wearing like skinny ass cargo shorts or skinny ass basketball shorts i don't think skinny basketball shorts is a thing but you might be wearing them uh short shorts uh i don't know if that'll work for this but you know you do you as always i just like wearing you know regular non-baggy non very constrictive uh basketball shorts or cargo shorts with these and they work they seem to work a lot better than wearing pants um i don't wear very baggy pants but I do have some pants that are not hella fitted and I see that it'll it'll work on these. It'll sit over the top, probably cover a little too much of the shoe, more, to, more than my liking, uh, more than I would like them to, but you know, that's why I don't wear them with it. Uh, yeah, man, these are the Nike Air Assaults in that black, Royal Varsity Blue, Neutral Gray, and, uh, and I think that's white. Uh, I said white earlier, it's probably neutral gray. It's not white, it's just neutral gray. Um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, comments link below. Check out my other sneaker videos, man. I know I've been neglecting these videos a lot. Um, it's hard to wear sneakers in the rain. It's winter time now. Hopefully it's gonna be spring soon, but um, as always, man, check back for more videos. Give it a thumbs up, and as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching.